All right, welcome back. 44 minutes past the hour. Jules, join us now to talk more sports. we got uh, a fun thing and a bad thing to talk about. One, we got a a big fight coming up. Our local guy getting back in the ring. Mm -hmm. We'll get to that in just a sec. And two, uh, you've got kind of a scam warning out there for the sporting world, but mainly businesses. Some guys using the name of Little League and taking businesses for cash. Yep, yep. And of course, we're looking to make the Coachella Valley a better place to live. So we need to alert all parents out there about scams. But let's start with some really good news because if you want to watch Timothy Bradley Jr. in his next fight, today is the day that tickets go on sale. They range in price between $25 and $150. Now he's fighting Jesse Vargas, an undefeated fighter. And it's going to be for the recently vacated welterweight title belt. The fight is June 27th at StubHub Center in Carson. These two fighters, they are combined 57, 1 and 1. Now, Bradley, he's 31, 1 and 1. And his most recent bout, it was a controversial draw against Diego Chavez. And that bout came after Bradley had lost the rematch to Manny Pacquiao. So he's looking to get back to winning. Now, he had been undefeated before that rematch with Pacquiao. And since Floyd Mayweather vacated the title, he won against Pacquiao on May 2nd. The belt will go to the winner. Now, it's not exactly known why Mayweather decided to vacate those titles, but he vacated all of his belts on May 3rd. And now Bradley could benefit. The stakes are incredibly high for Bradley, and again, tickets go on sale today. You're going to want to get those. The last time he fought at StubHub, it was an amazing fight. The 2013 Fight of the Year, actually. By the way, this next story is very, very important, so please turn up your volume and pay special attention. The Indo Youth Sports Association contacted me to alert the Coachella Valley about a scam parading as a fundraising effort for, quote, Indio Little League. Well, the only problem, Indio's youth baseball organization and softball organization, it's Pony League. And this scam is led by a man who fits this description, so keep your eye out. A Caucasian man in his late 50s, about 5'8", medium build, gray hair, and he has a mustache. Now, as of yesterday, there were still reports of him attempting to lure sponsors for, quote, Indio Little League. It's just a scam, though. Indio Youth Sports League, again, is Pony League. So if you'd like to support them, you can go online at IYSA.info. Or if you'd like to support the special needs program that's very unique to the Coachella Valley and Riverside County, go online to Kelsey'sHeroes.com. It's very disappointing that someone would try to profit off our local youth sports leagues. But again, contact IYSA, Indio Youth Sports Association, Dot info or Kelsey's Heroes.com for more information. And that's sports brought to you by Legal Docs by me. I'll tell you what, that just chaps my you know what. Yep. I can't believe that somebody's out there. Maybe somebody can get a picture. I'm sure he's probably going into businesses mm-hmm. trying to solicit a sponsorship. Maybe somebody's got a security camera out there that caught an image of this guy. Uh, if you know who this guy is, again, white male, 50 year old, mustache. Five, eight. Send us the picker video yeah. and let us know if that's the guy. We'll get it to police. We'll put it on the air and we'll make sure this guy gets stopped right. using the name of a local sporting league to line his own pockets. Right. It's outrageous. Ugh. And of course, Indio Youth Sports can use a lot of help. I mean, they, they do need some funding. So for this individual to be scamming people that probably out of the genuineness of their heart want to help Indio Youth Sports, yeah. it's too bad. But that's why we bring it to your attention so that. Yeah, I'm glad they contacted you and you got the story on. Thanks, Julie. Appreciate it. 47 minutes past the hour as we head to break. Real quick, our Valley Pet Finder segment today. We do have a dog that has been found. So we're trying to find the owners of this little guy right here. Take a good look. Uh, They're telling me that uh, this dog was found over in Indio just recently. Now, the person that sent us the email didn't say exactly what day they found the dog, but he was found around uh, 